Hey YouTube, it's ICU. Today we're going to be talking about January 1st, 1970, the date that essentially turns your iOS device into a brick. So I have this sixth generation iPod Touch right here. I set the date back to January 1st, 1970 at 1 a.m. Pacific time, and guess what? It won't boot up. So I'm not kidding, do not set your date to January 1st, 1970. I'm creating this video to kind of spread the awareness of this iOS glitch, as well as to explain explain it more in depth and kind of get into why it actually happens. So like I said, this specific iPod Touch had its date set back to that specific time bomb and as you'll notice, it will not boot up no matter what. It will just always stay at this Apple logo and it doesn't matter if it's restored. I've waited over 24 hours now at this point and it just continues to hang here. Moreover, if you let it hang there, it will get extremely hot. If this happens to your iOS device, what you need to do is just hold down the home and power buttons together until it powers off and then go into your local Apple store. Now, if it's an iPod Touch like this one is, this is a 6th gen iPod Touch, they will most likely replace it because the only real solution to actually remedy this is to disconnect and then reconnect the device's battery. And with the 6th gen iPod Touch and its design, that's pretty difficult. You actually have to fully remove the display and it doesn't have any sort of screws at the bottom like the iPhones do. The same thing will likely apply for iPad models, and although some stores may actually be able to disconnect and reconnect the battery, most probably won't. So if you can help it, don't set your date back. I'm just going to leave this iPod Touch up and kind of trying to reboot throughout the duration of this video, just as a reminder. Now let's get into the way that one would, technically speaking, be able to accomplish this. First of all, you do need a 64-bit device, so that includes the iPhone 5S and up, as well as the iPad Air and iPad Mini 2 and up, and the 6th Gen iPod Touch, which I have here as well as here. It does not work on 32-bit devices. However, there is another date that probably will brick older 32-bit devices. We're going to get into that more though when we actually get into the explanation of what's happening here. So on a 64-bit device, you just launch up the settings application. I'm going to remove the iPhone 6s Plus from the shot there. And then you'd go inside of general followed by date and time. So as you can see here, settings, general, date and time. And you need to set the date back to January 1st, 1970, and it kind of has to be a specific time as well, and that will be based on your time zone. So what I found works every time is to set the time zone to Pacific time, and then from there, January 1st, so you just have to continually scroll back on the far left until you get to the 70s, so January 1st, 1970, at around 1 a.m. And as you can see, when I set the time back, we have night shift enabled, that is because I'm on iOS 9.3, but at this point, you'd have to re boot your device and then power it back up and it would get completely stuck similar to this 6th gen iPod touch. It would just hang at that Apple logo if it's a 64-bit device. 32-bit devices should be in the clear and they won't really experience this. So let's get into why that actually happens and I'm not going to give a live demonstration in this video simply because I don't want another fully bricked device like this iPod here which I'm already going to have to take back to Apple. So essentially this works because iOX is a Unix like operating system and Unix as well as Unix like operating systems in this case utilize what's referred to as Unix time which basically just counts each second from the start of Unix time which is referred to as the Unix epic which was on January 1st 1970 at UTC so this is basically because there's a processor issue when we set our devices back to the beginning of time at least how iOS views the beginning of time that January 1st 1970 date at UTC which UTC stands for the Coordinated Universal Time. Every single time zone is plus or minus UTC. And you'll notice we just waited there long enough for the iPod Touch to glitch. It will just continually do that over and over again. But at any rate, back to what I was saying, every time zone is plus or minus UTC. Now here in California, we are Pacific Time. That's eight hours behind the Coordinated Universal Time. So it's UTC minus eight pretty much. Over on the East Coast, it is five hours behind UTC. Essentially, the Unix Epic is zero. If you get close enough to that zero within about a day, then this will happen to your device. And this system was developed because Unix time is essentially the exact same time no matter where you are in the world because it utilizes that Unix Epic as the starting point and then it just counts each second from then on. It's really great for computers so that way everything is synchronized. Devices and servers can talk to one another and have the exact same current Unix time stamp. 
The only real problems occur when you start to approach the beginning and most likely the end of it as well. See, Unix time will end on January 19th, 2038. So there is a 32-bit overflow at that point. If you have a device that is a 32-bit CPU, so anything before the iPhone 5S, iPad Air, iPad Mini 2, or the 6th Gen iPod Touch, and you set it to that date, you'll most likely experience the exact same thing. However, 64-bit devices should, technically speaking, be fine. I would not advise doing this if it happens to you. Hopefully you're under Apple Care and you can actually go down to your local Apple store. As you can see, the iPod Touch is just displaying a spinning wheel right now and it's going to hang from there. Let me go ahead and feel this because it's actually getting very, very hot. It's starting to burn up because that does consume resources trying to continually boot there. And like I said before, this will not be remedied through a restore no matter what. The only solution is to either take it in, get it replaced, or disconnect the battery. If you're out of warranty, the latter may actually be your best bet, attempting to disconnect the battery yourself. And that's more feasible on something like an iPhone, since you will have to unscrew the bottom. I recommend utilizing the guides found on iFixit if you're going to try that route and your device is out of warranty. Now, I fully expect Apple to correct this issue with an iOS update, whether it ends up being iOS 9.3 when it launches later this spring or even earlier. It's possible that they may rush a new version like iOS 9.3. 2.2 to correct this and prevent a user from setting their device to that specific date. Now, this is also incredibly dangerous, especially on firmwares lower than iOS 9.2.1, because applications with malicious intent may be able to automatically set the date back on your device. So if you're on iOS 9.1 or 9.2, definitely just stick to things that you obtain through the App Store. Do not download anything outside of the App Store, no matter what. If you want additional information on iOS, security, you can check out the video that I did on iOS 9.2.1 and Pangu's recommendation to update to it. It will be linked on your screens now. As far as the solution now for preventing your device from being set to that specific time, there is actually a tweak available inside of Cydia. However, it is on a custom repository. I'm not going to give it out to you guys simply for the aforementioned security concerns. If you're on iOS 9.2.1 or lower, it is definitely risky and I'm not going to share out anything with you outside of the default repositories unless I personally have reviewed the code and I just haven't. So if you happen to cross it, it definitely goes without saying that you proceed with caution. I hope this video helped you and provided you with the information you need to stay secure. Do not give your friends your device if you're at all worried that they may try to prank you with this. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it. Just click one of the buttons down below so that way this information can spread as quickly as possible and Apple can hopefully remedy it. And if you want to be updated more often, subscribe if you have yet to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Advice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to this top contributor. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.